know, when I first came to Cuba, cell phones weren't invented. And I was in my early 20s. And I've been coming back for five decades. Making friends with everybody. <laughs> trying to tell the story of Cuba. In the early 70s, there was a revolution going on. So we took our cameras down to Cuba. Our equipment's so heavy, we had to put it in a baby carriage. All of a sudden, we noticed Fidel began watching us. And because of his curiosity, we wound up with our first interview. Yeah, here we go. Good morning. Fidel was 53 when we flew to New York together. And he always remembered me. And he was always excited to see me. What would you do if you were mayor of New York City, Fidel? Era renunciar. The first thing I would do was to resign. It's <laughs> so all this stuff going on in Cuba. When I filmed here in 1975, all these shells were full. What's happening to Cuba? Uh-oh. Is everything OK? We've got the fear here. I learned many things with you, and I'll see you next time I come back to Cuba, OK? OK. Because so much has changed in the past two years. Selfies, they never did had selfies. I'm back to see my friends one more time. Well there. John. I'm John. This is to our happy reunion after 16 years. Hey! Nice to see you, Fidel. You look great. How you doing? Oh, still strong. I came here young, idealistic, and I grew to love Cuba. Last time we had a contest. Let's see who's strong enough. <laughs>